much closer to it than day on the adventure bus. Uh, I got Badge behind me. We met up at the truck stop last night, and now we're heading out to a spot to camp along the uh, Snake River. And then we're gonna do a little surgery to uh, Dan the Adventure Bus, get it all fixed up, and uh, get it good, uh, running shape like it was before I sprung a leak. <laughs> also, I know I've been slacking on the videos. Um, it's a little hard to drive about eight hours a day, <clears throat> walk the dog, feed the dog, feed myself, take myself to the restroom. <laughs> All that stuff. Anyways, it's it's hard to, to to have this kind of pace. I'm not used to driving like hundreds and hundreds of miles back to back to back to back. Um, and uh, so yeah, so it's kind of like oh oh wow, it's eight in the morning. I should edit a video. And then it's nine and then ten, and I'm like oh my god. Yeah, I gotta hit the road. We gotta get moving. What time is it? So <laughs> we'll get back on track. And I think possibly during the hunting for bus number two, I might slow down to like um, every other day or something like that. Cause not every single day is gonna be really exciting. I'm probably gonna try and call as many companies as possible and see if anybody would want to link up with me, um, stuff like that. Because uh, yeah diesel doesn't grow on trees. Well, not just yet. right here is a culprit of a wet dog smell. We, uh, when we were looking for campsites, we didn't check the radar to see if it was uh, snowing or raining or whatnot, but uh, I guess a few days ago there was a big storm coming through uh, California, Oregon, so I guess it has now arrived in, I think, are we in Idaho yet? Now this is what happens when you let Jax find you a campground. Now I gotta pull my trailer down this camp, this road. This is what he's talking about. That's that's this guy right here. <laughs> but don't worry. We but gotta, don't worry, he says. We got a backup plan. We got a backup plan. What we're not sure. And look at this road. I can hardly wait to go say, "L, we're four wheel driving in your trailer." <laughs> there you go. And by the way, Badge is back. Oh yeah, well, I'm back. <laughs> He's got a little issue with this truck, so we'll fix it up and get yeah. him on his way. And You know, it was a good excuse, you see, because we're hiding from Canada because it's still friggin' below zero up there. So it's a good excuse to hang around Idaho, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So, so we made it up. We uh, tried to make it down this place, but man, this is pretty rough. Yeah, we. This is a, a spot we found on and, and free we, campsites. And we now. seen Joe Four Wheel Driver, and he said, "Oh yeah, they pull him down here all the time." <laughs> Ain't gonna be this guy. I mean, it, it would be even a little bit difficult in the uh, adventure bus. Uh, what do you got over there, doggy? You got yourself a, a, a chewed stick? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's having a good time. He, he's gonna have fun tonight. He's gonna be running around the uh, campsite. Oh, yeah. We got another hour and a half to go. Are you ready? Is that right? Yeah. Let's go. All right. You know, the one thing about these primitive roads is that uh, when you're so heavy, like I am in a school bus, it's really, really easy to get stuck. What do you say? Give me that. All right. <laughs> okay, now here we go. This is what their Jack says that, and we just talked to the RV guy, and he said, oh, no, or not an RV, but a four wheel drive guy. He said, oh, no problem. They take it down here all the time. So I think we're missing something here in the concept here, I think. Like, really? Al, I'm going to take your $50,000 trailer four-wheel driving. Yeah, I don't think so. 
I don't know, Jax. <laughs> I don't think Al's going to let us take our $50,000 trailer. No? Four-wheel drive, and I don't think so. <laughs> we'll play we it can safe. Try it, but I don't think it's going to fly. But, well, no. we'll, we'll play it safe, just uh, for her. I don't, I don't think it's going to fly, buddy. <laughs> So anyways, I don't know, I, I forget what there, there's an off-roading term from what I'm doing, but uh, I'm kind of like putting yeah, the... Yeah, uh, the guy said they bring him down here all the time. Yeah, I think that guy's full he of it. He did say that, didn't he? He, he did. Um, but I'm just going on the high part, and uh, that way, you know, you don't bottom out in the center, you that know. That one's no better. That's the one he said will stay on the high side. Right. And it'll be a little better. I yeah. don't know. It's a worse road yeah. than this one. This, this guy was driving down here in a little but Jeep anyway, with no top on it. see the piece so. of Idaho we'll never see again. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been a very, very, very nice camp spot. Also, one of the reasons why we chose this location is, um, is because it's near a town that has an O'Reilly uh, Ford dealership. And so they would have any and all parts I would possibly need. Not really sure about the other camp spot number two. Not really sure what the amenities are over there as far as uh, uh, parts and things like that. So, um, just have to find out. One thing I was thinking of, we're getting further and further away from Salt Lake City. And uh, my friends, the Jergies, just had a baby. And I want to meet baby Jergy. <laughs> so, um, I'm thinking to myself, man. Each, each hour is, is another two hours, you know, there and back. So, um, but yeah, it'll be, no matter what, it'll be worth the drive. And, uh, so yeah. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that when I was picking parking spots, camping spots this morning. <laughs> Cool, this is, we are uh, headed to the uh, State Park Campground, and uh, it's free. I love that price. Ooh, wow, look at how awesome this is. Holy cow, they're doing some construction over on that side. Balance Rock Park. See, we go right down here. There's a little creek. <laughs> this is so, this is so awesome. As you guys know, I don't really do uh, a lot of campgrounds, um, but I am totally down for free campgrounds. This is epic. What a score! Oh my gosh. How about them potatoes, huh? How was that? Oh yeah, Flying J last night was totally worth it for this. Well, let's get Badge's uh, first impression. Like you always say, you gotta kiss a lot of frogs, and this is one. <laughs> hey, look at this place. Oh, Holy yeah. shit. I know, right? That's Holy what I... crap, this is in the flat prairies of Idaho. No. This is unbelievable. This is so, so oh. nice. It is, it's amazing. Compared to the last place, though, this is something. Yeah, Flying J last night was worth it for this, oh, huh? This Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so right in the water here, you can you can see a bunch of um, fish swimming by. Those are probably some uh, some trout of some sort. But uh, yeah, it's nice. Nice echo down here. Echo. <laughs> what a cool spot. So I think I think we're gonna turn around and take this uh, this here spot there with that as our background and this as our front yard. Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up for the nomadic life.